Uh, dear host, the Executive Director, Nigeria Export Promotion Council, and President, Economic Community for West African States Trade Promotion Organization Network, Mr. Shegun Awolowa. And as uh, Her Excellency Finda Koroma so charmingly described him, Monsieur le President avec le P minuscule. <laughs> The Vice President, Economic Community, uh, well, uh, the Vice President of the ECOWAS Trade Promotion Organization Network, Mr. Guy M. Beng, the all members of the ECOWAS Trade Promotion Organization's CEOs present, Your Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much, uh, ECOWAS TPO uh, Network. Uh, what an amazing evening we've had. And this has been so excellent. From the great comparing from Bovi, the comedian, and Chigo, who abandoned her famous Fijian English today for an exotic mix of French and Spanish. And the, great, uh, and the great meal by our, our chef, Fregs. Uh, the Eden beginnings, uh, dessert from Yemika. Chike's live music and the West African dance fusion. I'm told, well, we haven't got that yet. What an excellent evening, what a great evening. So let me say to you, uh, network members, uh, if this is the way you entertain, uh, please book me for next year's gala. <laughs> and on the, matter, on the matter of which of our countries makes the best uh, jollof rice, it seems to me that this controversy will never end. So I sought the consent of our president, President Muhammad Buhari, to attempt to end the dispute one way or the other. So we decided that we will sponsor a competition for who can make the best fusion jollof. It will be called the fusion jollof. Who can make the best? Now, the first prize is a lot of money. A lot of money. And you can be sure there will be a lot of money. I see that I've got everybody's attention. <laughs> Even those who cannot cook to save their lives are listening intently to this. But whoever will win this, the jol that jollof rice must be able to speak uh, English and French and at least one local language. So if you are not able to achieve that, then uh, you probably wouldn't win. So please accept my commendations first on the inauguration of the ECOWAS Trade Promotion Organization Network. This is a very far-sighted and insightful initiative of the ECOWAS uh, trade promotion organizations uh, and of the ECOWAS community itself with the support, I'm told, of the International Trade Center. And of course, we must also congratulate the brand new executive of the network, uh, the president of the network, uh, Mr. Shegun Awolo, the <laughs> CEO of the uh, Nigerian Export Promotion Council, and the Vice President, Mr. Guy Mbeng, the CEO of the Côte d'Ivoire Export Promotion Organization, and other newly uh, elected pioneer executive members of the network. Congratulations are, of course, also in order uh, for the success of your first annual general meeting held here in Abuja on Thursday. Uh, Mr. President of the network and members of this uh, important organization, I'm sure you've already had a surfeit of matters that we all expect you to attend to. But let me add to your misery with a list of my own. What are the tasks and opportunities ahead? I think the first thing is that the network must drive inclusive trade, good inclusive trade initiatives in the sub-region. Secondly, I think the network must expand intra-regional trade in the ECOWAS region. Now that is currently at about 10% of the region's trade with the rest of the world. 
It means that our trade within West Africa, West African countries, is so small that we really should be embarrassed by it. So I think that this is one great opportunity for us to improve that. The third is that you must present a trustworthy platform for cross-learning and the sharing of knowledge and information assets between and amongst each other. You must strengthen the voice of uh, TPOs and the private sector. And this is really crucial, and I might just elaborate slightly. The vision of our heads of states and governments in resolving to establish the network is to build a more robust and a broader economic space for trade and investment. So a major part of that is that the network must serve as a platform for businesses and trade promotion agencies in our subregion to share knowledge and business opportunities and develop trade capacity in our subregion. And of course, there is uh, the final point. There is the imminent task of enabling this subregion to benefit maximally from the African Free, uh, the African Free Trade Continental Agreements which, of course, as you know, is the biggest opportunity so far for trade, not just in our sub-region, but in the entire, uh, in, and also in the entire continent and the world. So we're expecting to see something from the network that will put us on the right, on the right stead, in the right place, to be able to benefit fully from the AFCTA. The task we've set for you is an enormously difficult one, but two facts give us all the confidence. One is that we know that this gathering of TPOs has world-class human resource capacity. And that, is, and that is so evident because every member, every, every one of the CEOs who is here has proved himself, not just in their own countries, but in ECOWAS. The combined experience of this platform is simply mind-boggling. The second is our confidence in your commitment that assures us that beyond the tunnel of these uh, challenges lies a really bright light of a new era of trade and prosperity for, the world, for all of the West Africa region and indeed our continent. So we're expecting great things from this network. And once more, let me congratulate ECOWAS and the ECOWAS TPO network on this monumental achievement. And I wish you Godspeed as you undertake this important journey to prosperity and abundance for our people through trade. Thank you very much. God bless ECOWAS.